Welcome to the Hotty Toddy Reader Spotlight. I'm Ashley Dees, and today I have with me Dr. Andy Mullins. Dr. Mullins is the Chief of Staff to the Chancellor Emeritus. Dr. Mullins, we're so happy to have you with us today. Thank Can you. you tell us what book you brought? Well, I brought a book that I read right out of Millsaps College um, by Albert Camus called The Plague, and it's fiction. And it had, uh, uh, I've, I've, I've gone back to it several times through the years, and uh, it had, a, it had an impact on my life as a young student or former student. Uh, so that's what I brought. Great. Well, we're really excited to hear about it. So go ahead and tell us what you found interesting about it. Well, it's the story of, uh, it's fiction, of course, and it's the story of uh, uh, a French town on the um, African coast. Uh, and a bubonic plague breaks out. And it, uh, it covers a lot of the deep philosophical questions that, that Camus was famous for uh, covering. And uh, it, what, what is so interesting are the various uh, conversations between the members of the town who, um, although the town is quarantined, these are some influential citizens who could buy their way out of the town to keep from dying from bubonic plague. And it uh, has to do, it's a great conversation between the doctor who chooses to stay and take care of those who are probably going to die, uh, and, and some of the other members of the town whom he, uh, whom he knew and, and also whom he met for the first time. And they get into all kind of interesting conversations about life and the hard questions of life. And many of the things that Camus favored, such as um, he, was, he was opposed to capital punishment, that comes out. We have one of the town members, rather than face this question of what to do, uh, tries to commit suicide. And, and uh, also there, uh, he, he was opposed to suicide. I mean, he was in, opposed to the laws against suicide, and he was opposed to capital punishment because that way the person didn't, didn't have a choice. And he says the ultimate choice, no matter how tough life is, uh, should be the choice of the individual, and in that case it might be suicide. So he deals with those questions, but, but, the, but the one that really influenced me was a conversation between Dr. Rue and, and um, one of the town members that he befriends named Tarot. And they get into a deep philosophical discussion about what gives meaning to life. And uh, Dr. Rue says, you know, no matter what you do, <coughs> the end is death. And uh, so uh, what gives meaning to life is the struggle to help other people and it's the struggle that counts and gives meaning to life. Great conversations in here that deal with a lot of uh, life's hard questions. And as a as right out of college, and I read it, uh, I don't even know who recommended it to me, or whether it, uh, I had heard of Camus uh, and taking philosophy at Millsaps College. Um, but it had a deep uh, a deep uh, effect on me, and I. When I was teaching high school, I referred it to several people. And just uh, about a year ago, one of my former students, who is a doctor at the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, he sent me a copy of the plague because I had told him to read it. And because he read that book, he became a doctor. So you know, not only has it had a, a long time influence on my life, but also on some of my students whom I, whom I recommended the book to, so. Very nice, very compelling um, read, it sounds like. So tell us why the university community, our faculty, staff, and students here should read this book. Well, I, th <coughs> I think uh, anybody uh, who struggles with uh, what am I gonna do to make a difference in the world? How am I gonna give meaning to my life other than just making money? Uh, should read the book, especially if they're interested in some of the philo philosophical questions that are raised in the book. Um, I think it would give meaning to their lives as well. Uh, it's certainly a, a good tale, but uh, some people might say, well, it's kind of dark. 
Um, but in the end, it's really not. Um, even though uh, the friend, Tarot, dies of the plague, um, <clears throat> he, he, uh, he agreed with doctor, the doctor that he would stay. He had the option of leaving, but he would stay and, and try to help those who, who were sick and struggle with, struggle with life itself. Great. Well, thank you, Dr. Mullins, for oh, suggesting welcome. the plague for us today. And if you are interested in reading the plague, please come by the J.D. Williams Library and check out a copy. Thank you.